You are making some seriously dangerous accusations. Just save it for the cops, because I got your number, lady. She's your mother, Quinn Fuller. I am at her mercy. What you think you have is a message from beyond the grave, one that you creatively piece together. Is that your way of telling me how sharp I am again? Uh, it's my way of saying that you are wrong, dead wrong. You know, maybe, maybe not, but I don't want my daughter anywhere near you. Yeah, well, she's married to my son now, and he gave her a fabulous diamond. A diamond that he never would have had to give her if Mommy Dearest didn't kill somebody for it. Contest. Magnificent, but it is not as beautiful as you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Family yacht. I never thought I'd say that. Oh, well, you're Spencer now, so you better get used to it. Well, you too, apparently. I know! <laughs> See that? What? That gets me every single time. What? The smile. Ooh, not that one. Ah, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> I promised you at our wedding that I was going to keep that thing on your face. Mm -hmm. Till death do us part. <laughs> Which is pretty much what I felt when you took my hand and we jumped off the bow of this aircraft carrier. You're crazy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, I think to marry you, I don't <laughs> have to be. If you think I'm going to lose everything because some moron edited a video. Watch. No, you watch it. I have had to raise a son on my own. Build a business, protect myself and Wyatt. I'm not gonna let you stand there making absurd accusations. Really, why don't we let the cops decide how absurd they are? Because they're already snooping around. Ricardo is dead, he owned a priceless diamond. Of course they're investigating. They're investigating the wrong person. They ought to be investigating you, not Wyatt. Look, I was very fond of Ricardo. We went way back, he had nothing to fear from me. What you're saying is that I do? I want you with me, not against me. And that can't happen if you don't trust me. Trust the woman holding a gun on me. What is going on in that head of yours? What are you up to? Okay, I gotta ask, all right? How did you, yeah, crazy pants, ever, ever get a gun? It's my Second Amendment right, and I've had it for years. A woman alone with a young son. Quinn, Wyatt, he's an adult now. Yes. And he's married to your daughter, uh, which makes you no, and me. La, 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 do not remind me, please. What? We aren't that different. Seriously. We both go after what we want. Yeah, but one of us, me, doesn't poison people I to get it. didn't murder Ricardo. I liked him very much, and he liked my son, which is why he gave him the diamond. Really? Well, that's yeah. not what that says. That video? was edited by you. You know, you hurt me, you really do. Are you trying to say that I was I was trying to frame you? Well, I think what I'm saying is you're letting your imagination run away with you because of the incident with the sword and also because the police have been nosing around, con man. There's a dead guy, probably murdered. Yeah, while I was away in treatment, nowhere oh, near man. Ricardo so or the diamond. You're good, you are. You know, you just, you just have an answer for everything. Well, I was desperate to get back to Wyatt and make amends. No way that I was gonna jeopardize that by doing something that would separate me from him forever. Wait a second, did, isn't that how you feel about hope, right? No, 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 isn't that the you way you something. feel about hope? You just you know exactly what to buttons you. to press, don't you? All I'm saying is I think that we are better allies uh, than we are adversaries. We're not allies, we're not even a little bit allies. Are you kidding me? What if I said I could get Brooke for you? The woman you have been pining over all of these years. Would we be allies then? Now you do realize that things are different this time, right? What? Hope's married. 
married, Liam. She is honeymooning on my yacht. Oh, thank you so much for the reminder. Just pointing out what, that the competition's over. The wedding vows have been exchanged. I got it. Thanks. I got it. I hated having to tell you. Yeah, well, he's your son, too. And I'm happy for him. But I also know what this is costing you. I saw her, you know. She was right there. She was waiting for me. And then fate or whatever intervened and Wyatt made the most of it. Well, that's who he is and who you're not. Well, what are you looking at me like that for? You know you're too cautious, Liam. You want me to be more like my brother? No. You want me to be more like you? I think that if you want something or someone, you have to go for it. If you hang back, you lose. Hang back? I didn't hang back, Dad. I be fell in the damn sane. Are right, you and me like you that? had to rescue her. I, and, and, and I respect you for that. But if you had gotten on the plane when you were supposed to, you would have been on time to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I know. I know. Lesson learned. Trust me. Well, I have certainly had a few of those in my life. In fact, one quite recently. But thankfully, Brooke and I will be back on track soon. How do you think she feels about her daughter marrying your other son? Brooke wants Hope to be happy. I know you would have made her happy had things gone differently. So you're gonna help me get Brooke? Yes. This is a woman who wouldn't give you the time of day. We're family now. You are really delusional, you know that? A guy like you and a girl like me, we aren't that different. Oh God, here we go with that again. It's our lack of caring, stable partnership that's eluded us all our lives. That's why we are the way we are. What, so now you're, uh, you're Dr. Phil? We both want what we've never had, closeness, security, family. It's what you want to give Brooke if she'll just give you a chance. But Brooke doesn't owe me anything, not after everything I put her through. Well, I could say the same thing about Bill. I spent years hating him for reasons I thought I understood until I finally realized that it wasn't hate at all. It was... Lust? Oh yeah, Ricardo's little message? That wasn't the only thing I saw on your computer. <laughs> Whips? Chains, leather, who's a naughty girl? <laughs> you know what they say. There's a fine line between hate and lust. With Bill, I can have both. Not a Brooke has anything to say about it. She still has feelings for the guy, despite what he did. And that is where you come in. Because from what I heard, the passion oh. you shared with Brooke far eclipsed what she had with Ridge. Now, who told you that? The point is, you are all about passion. I'm all about adrenaline, just like Bill, which is why we belong together, and you belong with Brooke. But it isn't just that. Think about our children, Hope, with her family together again. Wyatt, with his family together again. I know that they're all grown up, but they have been robbed of so, so much. If they can have the families they never had before. But not with all of this arguing and wild accusations. I mean, if we pull it together, we can make it happen. So what do you say, Deacon? 
It's now or never. Huh? God, if Hope just knew the circumstance, you know, if she knew, if she knew how close I was. Horseshoes and hand grenades, Liam. Close doesn't count. Not this time. Saying. And I'm just saying there are no do-overs in this situation. Wyatt and Hope are husband and wife. They're on their honeymoon. When they come back, it should be a happy time for them. And it will be. Brooke and I have talked about it. We're going to throw the newlyweds a party. And I expect you to be there. Dad, come on. No. You will. Oh. Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. There needs to be peace in this family. No looking back, only moving forward. So you are not going to make mention of Paris, of Ivy, I've... of any of it to hope. You're going to accept this marriage and move on with your life. That's how it has to be, Liam. That's how it's going to be. It's nice, huh? Dad texting, saying he wants to throw a party. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. So that both of our families can celebrate. We're married. I know. You realize this? I do realize this. We, we, we took the plunge. Are we crazy? Yes. 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 In the best way. This is the beginning of a great adventure. That was a nice speech. Transparent, but a nice speech. We have shared goals, common interests. If we work together. Oh, yeah, that's a big, big if. <sighs> we can both have what we don't have now companionship, family. And for you, nightly SM romps with Bill. Well, would you rather he be in Brooke's bed? Because it'll happen if we don't do anything. Uh, you know what? They're not like that anymore, right? Once Brooke found out what Bill did to Ridge, she just cut him loose right then and there. Yeah, but she didn't, did she? Which tells me that given time, he'll wear her down, and then she'll give in, and then they'll get remarried. And guess what? That'll leave you and me with nothing. And for me, that's not going to happen. I don't really think you have much to say about it. I mean, unless, of course, I'm missing something here. Did you see what that selfie of me and Bill did? One provocative little photo was almost the end of Brooke and Bill. Almost the end of Ridge, too. That was an unintended consequence that thankfully turned out OK. Look, if you're thinking of trying something like that again, you know, getting Brooke to think that you and Bill are. No, 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 no. She already knows the whole background to me and Bill hooking up. I mean, if I tried that, she'd see right through me. Exactly. But there is a way to make her rethink ever marrying him, something that lives at the core of who Bill Spencer is. Something that he has difficulty controlling. His temper. Oh, bingo, <laughs> baby. He's got major anger management issues. <laughs> yeah, that guy blows people get hurt. Mm-hmm. He hurt the people that Brooke loves. So if we use her fear of his temper. Yeah, it's, listen, trust me, he's going to be a saint until they get hitched. Unless we light the match. That sets him off, and then we stand back and... <laughs> we can both have what we want. I'm offering you a way to make it happen. Oh, the way you made it happen with Ricardo? You should have never been on my computer. You need to delete that video and all the copies you email to yourself. It's dangerous. Mm, I agree, yeah. It's definitely dangerous in the wrong hands. We could be a formidable team, get what we want for our children and for ourselves. This wedding will happen if we don't act. We have to act now. When we 
started our story Who knew where it would go The chapters move so quickly You loved me, oh so you told me But something happened and the plot turned cold the pages stop turning and now we're on old But if I can turn back the hands of time I would change so much more than history tonight If you could grant me a second chance I'd be the boy that you once knew And I swear that you'd say our special spot. It's the beginning of the rest of our lives. All the places we travel, all the stories we share, it seemed to unravel. No way to get back there. Lost in I swear that you'd say I do